I'm Pastor Salem, and I want to welcome you to the Christian Worship Hour. And this is a special day, a really special day, because we're celebrating our 40th anniversary of the Christian Worship Hour on the air, on the television. And uh, so we're going to have a special sermon just thinking about uh, the, the faith and the future and all the blessings of God. So call your friends and let them know. And as a matter of fact, that's why I got this boutonniere. I know some of you thinking, oh boy, he must have gotten married. He got a boutonniere. He got married and didn't tell us. Uh, 97 years and 97 and a half years old and getting married, I, I guess maybe not. Anyway, it's for the celebration, and it's a wonderful celebration, and you made it possible by your prayers and your support. So tell your friends, we'll have a great time together in our service today. Well, we're reading from Hebrews chapter 11 today, so if you have your Bibles, and I know that some of you get all dressed up and uh, you have church and you worship together. And then I got a letter from one fellow and says, I sit in my pajamas and drink coffee and watch your service. That's fine. Just stay awake. That's all we ask. But I don't know, sitting in a nice soft chair, I, I wonder about that because I preach for um, th these churches for years and years and they're just hard boards. And boy, some of these guys can sit down and 30 seconds time they can be asleep it's just a miracle how it works but anyway they always wake up in time to get out you know the last hymn they just kind of sense it and they get up and away they go and we're all happy well we're reading Hebrews chapter 11 and in our uh, prayer we're going to pray for the persecuted church in Libya and uh, they, this persecuted church they worship with a short wave on the shortwave radio, the Christian Worship Hour is in with an organization called uh, called Loray, L and it, the, the beauty of outfit, and they put that all over the world, and there we can tell, tell you that they're worshiping with us, and as we preach this wonderful gospel, God bless them. We can worship together, and someday we'll be in heaven together. Won't that be great? So are the Christians in Libya. Now faith is a substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For by it the elders obtained a good report. Through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God, so the things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. By faith Abel offered unto God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, by which he obtained witness that he was righteous, God testifying of his gifts. And by it he being dead yet speaketh. By faith Enoch was translated that he should not see death, and was not found because God had translated him. For before his translation he had this testimony that he pleased God. But without faith it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. By faith Noah being warned of God of things not seen as yet, Moved with fear, prepared an ark to the saving of his house, by the which he condemned the world and became heirs of the righteousness which is by faith. Heavenly Father, thank you for this wonderful passage on faith. And as we celebrate our 40th anniversary this Sunday, this week, Lord, we just thank you that by faith we've launched out. And by faith for 40 years we walk trusted in you. And dear God, you never failed us a single time. And you've helped us so that we can reach the whole world, all over the world. We can send this wonderful, glorious message of the wonderful Savior. And so it is our prayer today that people everywhere will put their faith in you. Maybe there's some Lord and they feel like, oh, I've been so bad. God wouldn't have anything to do with me. But he loves, he hates your, our sin, but he loves our soul, and he wants you to come. And when he went to the cross, he had you in mind, and he paid for your sins on the old rugged cross. He shed his blood. He became a human sacrifice for your sins and my sins and the sins of the world. And so you just come by faith. And that's what we proclaim on our wonderful service, Lord, this wonderful Savior. And so we pray for our dear brothers and sisters in Libya. And Lord, I know that some of them are suffering. 
Some have been put to death, Lord, loved ones. Sometimes some of them had their little churches burned down if they're fortunate enough to have a church. Some just meet in homes and some people in hiding places. But they always have their heart on you and they will not turn their back on you even if it costs them their lives. Thank you for these dear brothers and sisters. Someday they're going to wear the martyr's crown. We're going to see them in heaven. People that gave their life for you. Oh, they help us, Lord. They encourage us. So use this service today, Lord, to speak to hearts. Some maybe who've never accepted you. Some have drifted away. Some who are in despair. Some are lonely. Some are weary. Young people who don't know which way to go. What are they going to do in life? Little children, Lord, that have their problems too. Just this is your service, Lord. And by your spirits and your word, speak to them everywhere. And we'll be careful to give you the thanks and the praise in Jesus' name.